for Cody Hosey. Oh. going with Dave Griffin's right now um you know I just grew up going there you know hitting there every day and stuff and, um pretty significant to me you know just growing up around here having a place to hit this is where I came in the hit you know just when I come home for the off season this is where I go you know it's so cold out it's huge for me you know Getting somewhere to be able to hit, throw, take some grounders too. This place has really, it's really been special to me. We'd have team practice in here almost every day, you know, coming with my dad, just hitting, hit off the tee whenever I come in. Like, how many trains are here in this town in Griffith, Indiana? I couldn't even tell you how many. There's so many every day. I think I get stuck by one in like probably like three, four times a day. It's ridiculous. There's so many trains just every day, you know. You hear everyone talk about like, oh, I just got caught by another train in Griffith, so. Let's see, look at there's two now. So this is where I grew up, you know, playing baseball. Um, I think I was 10 and 12 playing here, 10 U through 12 U, you know. This brings back some good memories. So you said you hit a home run here, can you kind of like point out yeah. what it was? Um, what I remember was it was in an all-star game and I hit it and then we had that bathroom out there. It's only 175 down the line, but I think I hit it on the top of the, uh, the bathroom out there. Was this where you hit your first home run? Yeah, my first home run ever, it was, I was on the Cardinals and I was playing the Orioles and I was late on it and I just swung it. It went over to that, that big monster in right, you know, and there was another game going on. I hit it, I didn't even know it went over. And the, other, the other kid playing left field over there threw it back and I was just like, oh my God, that's my first one. God, I'm so happy. There you are up there on our I board. I know, we came, we came. We're getting some video. Oh my, are you nervous? Yeah. I mean, not nervous, I'm, more just anxious. I'm so anxious for I know, you. I know. <laughs> that is so awesome. All our practices for uh, all stars, you know, he'd come out, throw BP, you know. It's, we've got some good memories. I mean, so out of high school, you know, Tulane was probably one of the last schools to recruit me. I was recruited by Indiana, Purdue, and Arkansas, and ultimately it came down to the decision when I visited Tulane, you know, it was just such a great school, you know, education wise. I think it was just overall the people that I met when I went down for my visits, you know, everyone was so nice and welcoming. And even, you know, you got your top-notch baseball down there, you know, and I definitely wanted to go south to play baseball and it, it helped me a lot growing up, getting a lot more reps down in the south, getting, be, getting the outdoors and stuff. It was one of my better seasons at Tulane. Drive to deep left center, get back ball! Look it up, Ray! Yes, number 21! I learned a lot from the older guys when I was there and a lot just from the coaches, you know, and it really helped me. This year it was crazy, you know, just all the, everyone talking about it, you know, I just, I just try to stay momentary with everything, just focused on just trying to win the game, just focus on my next at bat. Breaking ball drill in deep left! Stay fair down the line! It's good! Cody Hosey does it again! Three homers in the first four innings of a night! Man! For for sure, just recognizing pitches and knowing the strike zone has helped me out so much and just maturing at Tulane really helped. The semifinalist for the Golden Spikes, which okay. is you know, the Heisman Trophy for right. college right. baseball. And you're in that list. Awesome. Yeah, it was it was definitely surprising, you know, you never expect that, but just all my hard work and it, it showed and it paid off just throughout the season you know you've been hearing a lot of things and going into the conference tournament you know you you see kind of the people starting to show up watching you know and you just got to stay in the moment Cody where are we going to right now we're going to a place called Bridges Scoreboard and it's a local sports bar that will have a bunch of TV set up for the draft and a bunch of family and friends will be there too. Oh, I'm, I'm just super anxious and excited to see where, where I go. 
it's been exciting for them, I think, you know. They're they're probably a little anxious and stuff to see where I'm going, you know, because not too many people know, but, you know, I think they've enjoyed enjoyed the experience and enjoyed the ride that I'm on, kind of. Tonight, representatives from all 30 Major League Ball Clubs are here to gobble up the best amateur baseball talent in the country. We have draft parties all over our nation. It's a big night. The future of baseball starts right now. Um, honestly, I I couldn't see myself where I'm at now. Look at our hmm. position player, uh, college position player board. We just had two taken. I think we're going to see a lot of these guys go in the 20s. Logan Davidson's probably going to go in the 20s. Cody Hosey, I'm a little surprised his name hasn't been called by now. He's going to go right around here. Just all the hard work, though, it's, it's really paid off. The Dodgers with the 25th pick uh, up next. And you'll see the Dodgers are taking. You know, and it's, it's cool to look back to see where I was to, like, now. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. With the 25th selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Los Angeles Dodgers select Cody Hosey, a third baseman from Tulane University. out of Tulane, six foot four, 200 pound third baseman. I tell you, this is the breakout slugger of the draft in my opinion. His power is ridiculous. Jim Callis, if I told you a year ago that Cody Hosey would be the 25th overall pick, what would you have said to me? I would have said who? Because he wasn't <laughs> on my radar as a draft eligible <laughs> sophomore, I'll be honest. It's a really nice pick here. This was a guy who was even being talked about, maybe you know, flirting with the top you know, 10, going in the mid-teens. Great value here for the Dodgers at 25.